Welcome back to another video hosted by Spellstorm Miniatures. My name is Dan and we are going to cruise through about nine Kickstarter campaigns pretty quickly here that are all ending in April. First up, we have Legion of Steel. Now down in the notes, I'm going to link our podcast where we got to interview the creator of this. It is basically a re-release of the 1990s game, featuring humanity versus a siege of mechanical horrors in this fast-paced squad-level miniatures game supposedly set in the not too distant future and it is a skirmish level. Now there's going to be a variety of things going on with this so you have to check it out and the creator is all on board for supporting it for future content including the ability to use your original models if you happen to own those from the first release of the game. Now as you can see it's kind of a grid based here with tiles and a lot of miniatures and then you have standees as well. So you're going to check them out. This will set you back about $42 to $141 depending on your pledge level. So if facing off against machines in the future is your thing, check out the link below. Now to go to the past. It's 1960 and the Nazis rule the world. Does this uh, tagline sound familiar? Well, if you played a bunch of video games back in the day, then you should know that it is Wolfenstein. And now it has come to a miniatures board game. It is a cooperative dungeon crawler for one to four players, taking about 90 to 120 minutes a session for ages 14 and up, and it's going to be available in five languages. You'll have the option of shooting up the guards or sneaking past them. Really, it's up to you to work as a team crawling through Castle Wolfenstein. As you can see, it's based upon miniatures and cards, so you'll have different missions. You can investigate the side quests, search around for other supplies, loot. Again, it's a dungeon crawler. You can really kind of do your thing. Now there's also going to be 3D terrain. Now it is a step up, about $120, but you get quite a bit of it. Then you can even, for just a little bit more now, it's ridiculous how much more this is, about $15, you can get a pre-assembled edition. So if you're a fan, definitely look at this one. If you've watched previous videos, you know I'm a fan of some cool dice. Now Starry Mist Dice here by Psypower is no different to that. This is a picture of the dice under a natural light they also have a fluorescent quality to them, which really sets them apart and gives them a really neat quality upon just the design of the way they mix the epoxy and some speckling in there as well. These will run you about $15 for a set, $26 for two, and so up from there. Have you ever looked at your miniatures table and thought, man, I'm missing a bunch of dead miniatures on this table? Well, Harvest of War is the one for you to check out. They have a large collection of different miniatures in poses laying on the ground. Now these are done in resin as well as you'll get STL files that you can print yourself. You even have a free model to test. You can get the unpainted set or even a pre-painted set. So definitely look at all the options here. There's just a lot to list. Tales of Arcana 5e Race Guide by Tales of Arcana RPG is a guide of more than 200 playable races for you to use in your 5th edition campaigns. Most of these races were created by Chris S. Sims, one of the original 5e rules designers. Now these are just a few of the samplings, obviously Draconic, pretty easy, Ogre's not too bad, but Muppets, who would have thought of using Muppets in their 5e campaign? But there you go. This campaign will run you $20 for the PDF or $50 for the hardcover and $100 for the hardcover and the card game sets. Currently there are 166 races illustrated, much like these dogs and horses. So if you're looking for new races, this is the place to start. Now a game that may not need much introduction, Frosthaven, at already about $8.5 million pledged with 8 days left to go. It's a standalone campaign in the Gloomhaven world featuring the same award-winning gameplay, designed for 1-4 to four players at 30 minutes a player at ages 14 and up. This will run you either from $100 to $285 from the base to the all-in bundle. If you missed out on Gloomhaven, well, no worries, you can get it along in this package as well. This one is definitely worth the time to look at. Well, I featured dice earlier, so here is 14 Dice Towers, a Fate's End 3D printable Dice Towers. You can even download the Wizard Tower STL for free on the Kickstarter page. You can get a single tower for $7, or all of them for $38, which right now includes 23, including all the stretch goals. Then you can get a personalized one even, or if you feel like making them to sell, there is a merchant's license available as well. Ankh, Gods of Egypt is another popular one by Simon Games. You take the role of an Egyptian god and fight to become the one true god in this epic board game. This is from the creators of Blood Rage and Rising Sun. He uses the unique powers and mythical guardians. Each god must gain followers, have monuments built in their honor, and inspire their warriors to fight for their beliefs. 
as shown in these couple examples, there is the main god like Anubis here, and then you have a group of followers as Anubis's warriors. There are many more, and I believe they keep adding more during stretch goals. And there's a variety of guardian models, even camels, and then much more for cards and other tokens for the board game. There's only one pledge level of $100. Finally, we have High Fantasy Miniatures Collection. Now, these are miniature NPCs and heroes and creatures for gamers and collectors. This first model is the Storyteller, who is only going to be available during the Kickstarter. Many of these gorgeous models are coming in various sizes, 32 millimeters, 54 millimeter, or a few in 75 millimeter. Again, really depending if you want to use them or if you kind of want to display them a bit more. The prices do vary, mainly depending on how many you buy. Are you just getting one? Are you getting two, three, or more? And also depending on the size of the miniature as well. They're all shown here on plinces or basically display stands, which are also available for purchase for the various sizes, depending on your needs. They're also presenting many different styles of drakes. With that, it'll wrap up today's look at the different Kickstarters ending in April. Thank you for joining us. Please like and subscribe down below. And in the comments, let me know which one you're looking most forward to.